Shadow of the Colossus is one of the most thought-provoking games I've ever played. But nowadays, those kind of games are all over the place, with indie games becoming more and more popular every year. What really sets Shadow of the Colossus apart from other thought-provoking games is how it goes about doing it. Instead of blatantly making a statement of morality in other games such as Undertale or Doki Doki, this game brings up its question of morality in a sometimes overlooked aspect of storytelling, through music. The soundtrack in Shadow of the Colossus gives the game a very wide variety of emotions, all of which though are closely related. Sorrow, danger, mystery, despair, and seclusion. Each song conveying one or more of these aspects as the story unfolds in the beginning cutscenes. We follow our protagonist, Wander, as he undergoes the monstrous task given by the being Dorman, the task of slaying 16 colossi for the promise of resurrecting a loved one. Every moment in this game is perfectly paired with a song that can accurately portray what is happening on screen without even seeing it. One song in particular, though, seamlessly blends in with all the others and doesn't distract from the tone that the music has constructed for the game. But in so many ways, this song stands out amongst the rest of the soundtrack purely because what is happening on screen. Before we get there, though, let's observe the moments leading up to it. As the game starts, we're greeted with one of the most repeated tracks of the entire game, Silence. Accompanying you as you find your way to the first of many battles, the silence is meant to communicate that feeling of seclusion and separation from the rest of the world as you explore this forbidden land. As you get closer to your target, the music moves to a feeling of uneasiness. You really see how daunting of a task you've agreed to as you have to pan upward on your joystick in order to get a full image of your foe. I want to point out though at this moment that the feeling of uneasiness doesn't come from the character in the game. It's only you feeling it. And I'll jump back onto that point in a bit. After you've mustered the courage to climb the beast, you hear the intensity rise in the music. The feeling of danger is very apparent in these moments as you search for the weak spot of this moving landscape. Once you've weakened the Colossus, you raise your sword to deliver the killing blow. It's at this moment that we have a very clear separation from player and character. A song simply called The End of a Battle communicates to us that we may have done something wrong. Instead of a triumphant theme, we hear a very somber requiem as the Colossus falls to the ground. Now when I say that the song clearly shows a separation from player and character, I'm bringing up the fact that in all video games, there is an immediate connection between the player and the character. Anytime you take a controller in your hand to move the character, the two of you are one. Whether you're playing Mega Man, Mario, Link, or even a character you name yourself, your goals line up with your protagonist. When you're playing through a game and you have to tell someone where you are and your task at hand, you don't say, I need to help Mario get to the castle so he can defeat Bowser and save the princess. You say, I need to get to the castle so I can defeat Bowser and save the princess. Or more commonly, I need to grind for more experience so that I can defeat the next boss. It's a crazy thing. No other form of storytelling makes you do that. Anything you watch, read, look at, or listen to can't make you say those words. This is the statement I believe the music is making. You play as Wander, set with the task of killing Colossus after Colossus, for the promise that your loved one will be brought back to life. Killing and reducing to rubble these beautiful, larger-than-life creatures for your own benefit. This is the moral dilemma for us the player, to continue on. But because it's just a story, there's nothing we can do except go along with it. As the Colossus falls, the Requiem is being played to us to signal that this is a tragic event. It's not being played for Wander. Our eyes may be open to the reality that Wander can't see because of his own determination, his own blindness that comes from love. Not seeing the immediate consequences of his actions, very harsh consequences that I won't spoil in this video. 
We all have hurt someone at one point or another and have done horrible things, more than likely without realizing it, and also more than likely because we were blinded because of love or hatred or anger or almost any other emotion that a person can struggle with. We were blind to the fact that our actions have consequences. I'm bringing up this philosophical reflection for us to take a closer look at ourselves, and I'm doing that all because of a simple song in a video game. <laughs>